Making life multiplanetary is expensive, but it is necessary for the long-term survival of consciousness. That's Elon Musk on X, replying to SpaceX fans. It sounds simple, but hidden in this sentence is Musk's entire philosophy, and maybe even humanity's best shot at surviving the future. The first part, expensive, is obvious. Colonizing another planet isn't like building a city on Earth. We're talking massive rockets like SpaceX's Starship, habitats that survive Martian dust storms, life support systems that recycle everything, and the infrastructure for an entirely new civilization. Some estimates put a self-sustaining Mars colony at trillions of dollars. And Musk says, it's worth it. The second part is deeper, necessary for the long-term survival of consciousness. Why? Because Earth is fragile. One asteroid, supervolcano, pandemic, or human-made disaster could wipe us out. A second home, Mars, the Moon, or beyond, is like cosmic insurance. And it's not just human survival. Musk sees spreading consciousness as the next evolutionary step, like life moving from oceans to land. Expanding intelligence into space is about preserving the light of awareness itself. Of course, it's not easy. Mars has no magnetic field. Radiation is deadly. Soil is toxic. Growing food takes years of experiments. Months-long isolation tests are psychology. Trips take six to nine months. Help from Earth isn't coming fast. Some experts say it may take centuries. Critics argue, why spend trillions on Mars when Earth is on fire? Musk's answer? We can do both. Space tech often solves Earth problems. Renewable energy, recycling, habitat innovation. So pushing from Mars could make life better here too. History shows every great leap once seemed impossible. Crossing oceans, harnessing electricity, landing on the moon. Ridiculed at first, too expensive, too dangerous. Yet they changed civilization forever. Musk believes the next leap is obvious, becoming a multiplanetary species, not just to survive, but to expand life, intelligence, and creativity into the stars. The question is, will we dare to take it? So what do you think? Should humanity focus on Mars, even at trillions of dollars? Or fix Earth first? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'll feature the best ones in future videos.